Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited. This is the first time that I am sitting down filming chatting wise. I've filmed a couple of videos over on my Instagram, but this is my first time filming and chatting with you guys in a couple of months. So let's just jump right in guys. We are doing a first impressions review and demo of the new Revlon Photo Ready Candid Foundation. I'm not sure how new it is. I know it's new 2020 new, but I don't think it's new like summertime spring new i am definitely a little bit of a warning here a little bit chatty in this video so forgive me i'm just kind of getting back into the swing of filming and how it all works um so a little bit chattier than usual but if you want to hear my thoughts and see a demo using this foundation then just keep on watching um jumping right into this review and demo we are reviewing the revlon photo ready candid natural finish anti-pollution foundation what a mouthful. Um, I think most people just know it as Revlon's Candid Foundation, but yes, this is what it looks like. It has a squeezy tube, but a pump on the end as well, which is really, really awesome. I love the packaging. I'm so very excited. I went with the shade 350 Natural Tan. I am a lot more tan than I normally am. I've been like outside a lot this summer, so my hands are also a lot darker than my face and my neck. My hands and arms tan a lot um, easier and faster than the rest of my body so that's why so I have a swatch of the foundation here on my hand so it looks like it's super light on my hand but when I swatched it on my face it was not too bad it is a smidgen too light I'd probably go one shade darker but I'm still just really trying to figure out what shade I am in general the shade 230 seems to work okay from Maybelline's fit me matte and poreless line I do apologize for that because if you do follow me for a very close shade match to yourself, I am a little bit more tan right now just from the sun. So uh, just keep that in mind um, that this would not match me in a lot, if not most of my previous videos um, that I do because I just have not been in the sun this much in a few years, to be honest. So it's been really nice. Um, okay, so let's just dive in before I get too chatty. I have moisturized and primed as well. I primed today with a hydrating primer. This one is just one that I've used many times from CoverGirl. Really, really great affordable primer. So I'm going to go ahead and pump another little bit onto the back of my hand and I am going to do one side of my face only. I have a very pretty friend. You guys can't really see it that well, eh? Right above my brow, it hurts, but I'm trying to let it get to a white head before I go ahead and pop, so let's do this. So as you can see, like dotting it onto my face, it looks a lot better of a color match. Your face is always gonna be a few shades lighter than the rest of your body because you wash it so much, exfoliate, blah, blah, blah. Um, so your tan will fade faster, but even my neck, it like if I went the shade of my hands, it just wouldn't look right. Blend this in. It blends really well. Holy moly. One thing that I've noticed though is that that pump is like fully gone. So I feel like it gets soaked up quite easily from the beauty blender. So that's something to keep in mind. But color match wise, this was bang on. This looks like really good with my neck. So I'm liking that a lot. I've been struggling so hard, guys. I can't even tell you. Um, so that blended out like a dream. I think that took me like 15 seconds, really. It's definitely, in my opinion, a light to medium coverage, which I really like. You can see a lot of my freckles still coming through a little bit. Um, imperfections still shining through a little bit as well. But for summertime, that's like A-OK -okay for me because I don't want something too heavy. So that's really nice. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side of my face So as you can see it just really helps blend everything blur imperfections, but nothing too heavy So I need another pump So it's like a pump per side of the face, which I Feel like that's you know a decent amount of foundation to apply Wow, I'm really liking it. It just looks really fresh as well. All right, so this is what the foundation's looking like. It looks really, really fresh and hydrating, which I am really loving. Um, in the summer months, I want something that is a little bit more lighter on the coverage side, so this is perfect. This is, I think, a medium coverage. Definitely not heavy, feels super lightweight on the skin. Really, really like the way that it blended out. 
super quick and easy, especially if you are able to get as great of a color match. I think this is a perfect color match for myself, which is awesome. So again, the 230 in the Maybelline Fit Me has been an, a good match for me as well if you are comparing. The best advice that I can do is that if you're looking to purchase a new foundation and you're not sure about the shade, bring a previous tube with you. So for example, if you go to the drugstore with a bottle, even if it's empty, you're still gonna have some residue on it and you match it up and it looks the same, that's the easiest way to color match yourself at the drugstore, specifically right now when uh, with the pandemic, there's zero samples for you to swatch, at least in my area. And I hope in your area too, that there's no swatches available. So again, this one is 350 natural tan and I think it's a winner for shade match, so I definitely definitely like that. So we'll see if it oxidizes a little bit. I wouldn't even be mad if it did because then it would definitely match the rest of my body and my shoulders are quite tan as well. Just, ooh. <laughs> so I'm going to jump off camera and finish the rest of my makeup. And if you are interested on the rest of the look that I'm gonna do, then head over to my Instagram page because I always post the full tutorials over there. But yeah, this look is definitely gonna need a little bit of concealer to help the under eyes and help this planet that has arrived but I will be back in just a second. All right, I am back and I just finished up the rest of my makeup. I am really happy with how everything applied on top of the foundation. I had no problems blending in my concealer with my foundation. There is no kind of like unevenness. It kind of like removes the foundation. So that didn't happen at all. Um, also used some of my favorite like bronzing, contour highlight products um, from Anastasia Beverly Hills, uh, Becca Cosmetics. L'Oreal, that kind of thing. So very familiar products here on my channel and all of them went on really, really nicely, blended out smoothly, had no issues whatsoever. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the foundation. So I've already chatted quickly about the packaging. I really, really like the packaging. I give it two thumbs up. Um, I love that it's a squeezy tube, so not glass. And then it also has a pump. I actually paid $18.99 at Rexall for this foundation. And if you Google search it, it actually comes up for $14 at Shoppers Drug Mart. So definitely shop around if you're interested. Maybe try Shoppers Drug Mart first. And then if you can't find it, Rexall does have it in my area. But you guys know that Revlon's carried at big drug stores all around the world and also at Walmart, Target, all those good stores, Loblaws, like everywhere. You guys shouldn't have any problems finding this guy, but I did want to talk a little bit more about the details. So two key claims that this foundation does say is that it is ultra blendable and does have buildable coverage, which I agree with both those claims. I loved just having one pump on both sides, which for me is a lot of foundation. Um, so I feel like that was pretty buildable and it gave a really nice medium coverage. Definitely not full coverage, definitely not heavy. Um, and it's also super blendable. I don't even know if you guys really saw in the demo how fast my beauty blender blended it out. It was like I think a combination of how blendable it is plus how well it matched my skin just made it so effortless and it took me, I think, 15 seconds to do this side of my face. It was wild. So definitely agree with those two claims. But then as I read, it says some pretty funny stuff. So it says um, it's going to help camouflage under eye puffiness, bags, dark circles, and blemishes. So I definitely think it helped brighten up my under eye, give that area a little bit of coverage. You guys know I don't go too, too high up in that area with foundation because I like to use a lot of more concealer, so I don't want it too cakey, but I did notice that it got rid of a lot of redness, a lot of darkness on my face. For my little friend, the big blemish, I would say that it helped but it did not conceal it. I definitely needed to go in on top of that with a little bit of concealer to help just get rid of the redness and the ultra, you know, the blemish is really coming out of my face. It's a big, big bump, so <laughs> it's a planet. So um, I would totally forgive of any foundation really for not covering it up fully. It's definitely a concealer needed blemish. Now, this is the sentence, guys, that I was like, what? It says it is infused with caffeine for a built-in pick-me-up. The base makeup boasts a skin-protecting formulation that blends anti-pollution, antioxidants, and anti-blue light ingredients, preventing further signs of fatigue and dullness. Caffeine? What? I will let you guys know if I feel more wide awake at the end of this day, but I've never heard of that. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever heard of foundations using caffeine within their formulation. I've never heard of that. I think that's really, really interesting. Anti-pollutant, I've heard many foundations are doing that to protect your skins. Um, and then I've also 
heard a few foundations are starting to do anti-blue light, which is very interesting. So blue light being your screens that you stare at all day, laptops, televisions, phones, like all those things. So very, very interesting to see that those are starting to become built into these foundations um, ingredients. So friends, it is several hours later, like several. Um, and I knew I was forgetting something when I was filming. I was like, okay, I'm forgetting something. Forgive me, I forgot to talk about the shade range. So it does come in 31 shades, which is a great shade range for a drugstore foundation. I'm really pleased. I mean, it's been a long time since I've tried a Revlon foundation, so I'm actually pretty unfamiliar with their shade ranges, but I know that there are some drugstore brands that do an amazing job, and then there's some that just don't do enough. They have 10 shades, which to me is just totally unacceptable. So yeah, I wanted to jump back on and quickly talk about that. So yeah, 31 shades in this collection, which is awesome for a drugstore. I'm very, very pleased about that. I really like the way that this foundation sits on the skin, blended out with other products, and the color match was two thumbs up for me. So really happy with it. I'm loving it. I will let you guys know down below, as usual, in the description box. I'm not going to do a wear test today because I have to go back to my home office and keep working. Um, I'm on my lunch right now. Um, but... I will let you guys know in the description box how it wears for the rest of the day. It is pretty muggy outside, so that will definitely play a card in the um, wear and longevity of the foundation. So I will let you guys know all those details down below. But so far, first impressions, I'm absolutely loving it. I think it looks great on the skin, sits well, feels nice and clean. Doesn't feel like too heavy, so this guy's getting two thumbs up and it's affordable. I mean, don't go and buy it for $18.99. Go buy it for 14 bucks as shoppers. But nonetheless, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. I apologize. It probably was super, super chatty, but it's been a long time since I've filmed and I'm excited to be back. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.